Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Harry um, and I always share the experience of Africans with you living home and abroad. It's amazing to have a superstar in the house. Somebody when you see illuminates light. You know, somebody that is gifted. You don't see him struggle with his art. Like he's just somebody who is creative. You meet him and you just like him at first instance. Um, I'm here with Omo Yanki. That's his stage name. But I felt connected to him the first time I saw him. And I want to share his story with you. Omo Yanki has been in UAE for quite some time. Uh, we'll get to hear from him how he came to Dubai, what he's doing in Dubai, and where he is right now. So please guys, get to meet Omo Yanki. Mm. Yeah, what up my people? I go by the name Yanki, son of glory. Okay. I'm in a new artist, you understand, based in Dubai. That's what I do for a living. Music is power. Um, coming to Dubai, you know, it's um, part of the journey in life because, you know, you just have to get yourself to a place where you'll be able to boast of something, understand? You know, do music on side and as well doing my hard work and all that, you know. So it was music that brought you to Dubai? Yes, it was, no, it was not really the music that brought me to Dubai. Uh, I purposely come to Dubai just to know what's up, you know. Doing it back there in uh, Nigeria, we think it's not easy, okay, fine, let me just travel out to see how it goes over there, you know. There's a lot of traffic in the music industry, what's up? We are here to try our best more. So, um, what initially do you, drew you to pursue music in Dubai? Knowing that there is a cultural and traditional complexity around the industry, you know, uh, it's not a place where you throw a lot of shows or you throw a lot of parties like people insinuate. Um, more or less, it's like an Islamic country, but it's a liberal place where people still have their lifestyle and livelihood. Uh, what inspired you to say, okay, I want to come make music in Dubai? At first, there was a debate with your style. But with the courage in me, I'm able to stood around my ideas and around the music, you understand? Okay. Just the courage in me, you know, that would be fine. Definitely, I Did you ever doubt that maybe it will work, maybe it will not work? No. I never doubt if it's going to work out. Because I believe there's always a blessing. It may take time, but sure, I'll get there. We all know, we all know a road to the throne is very, very, very hard. Wow. But, you know, with the courage and the belief, definitely I'll get to my destination one day. Um, I saw you perform at the Gambian event. Uh, was that the first event that was cross-cultural for you? Uh, even though it's West African, uh, your music is mostly in Yoruba and sometimes in like uh, Brooklyn and Pigeon. Uh, you were still singing for a community of people that didn't really understand uh, that's your language straightforward. How was it for you breaking this uh, boundary and finding your voice while connecting with diverse audience in Dubai? Like performing for multicultural events? No. Um, well, uh, my sound is actually Fuji, um, Fuji voice. Wow. But, you know, I blend it up. Okay. To be up to the standard and the level of Afrobeat so that more people can hear the best of my Yankee. And that's all about music. You understand? You brush it up to people's standard. So that's what I've been doing. Not really sound in my own people's voice alone, but general. So I try to blend it up to an appropriate uh, level. So and I'm, I myself, I'm happy seeing myself in the stage where people can listen to me. Even other African country, both Nigeria people, they can listen to me. And I myself, I'm happy hearing myself with a good sound of Fuji in appropriate. Uh, UAE has a vibrant social community. Uh, we have a lot of clubs, outlets and bars. In as much as we talk about uh, the cultural differences, how has it been for you navigating the system, getting performances and getting some small, small gigs? And how have you been dealing with any uh, hurdles that you face as an independent artist? <sighs> well, it's not really easy, Kirsten. It's not really easy. Define into Dubai music box. But 
I did it one kind with the blessings of Almighty. And that's all that's been helping me around because, you know, when you're in a place where people are not hearing your language or uh, it's not where they really love music like that, um, you find it difficult. But, you know, when you have the courage in you, uh, how am I going to put it? Who stop trying is the best loser. Oh. Trying till they know exactly what, are, what you are bringing to the table for people to listen because to. Because you know what you want. You know so what you want. So you're focused on trying so, to get And um, performing want. in Dubai in mm. different occasions yeah. is not really easy because most uh, clubs or uh, any events cross lenses for you to perform. But with the help of uh, uh, international promoter, Billy Q, you know, he has done a lot to help our upcoming artists in Dubai. You understand me? Wow. So, what are the biggest challenges you have encountered as a Nigerian performing here in the world? Oh my God! For <laughs> talking about challenges here. And how has your passion for music helped you to persevere through? Uh, my passion for music is really long, which I cannot, in fact, I cannot even talk about it. I have big passion for music. Yeah, and then so, the challenges. And the challenges in music industry. It's very hard for you to, to, to get a, a, a upcoming artist like me, unlike our country. So we came compared from, to Nigeria, compared to Nigeria, getting gigs, getting to perform in events, is it easier for you over here or it's much easier over there? It's much easier over, uh, over, over there in my country. It's much easier. So in a nutshell, what you're going to say is that uh, coming here <clears throat> did not come as easy as you expected. At all. Wow. At all performing at different stages. What are some of the lessons that you have learned, you know, that uh, have been most impactful in your life, uh, that you've learned from performing here in life in Dubai? And if you have performed in any event life, which events have you performed and what has been your experience and how has it shaped your perspective towards other shows? Uh, I'll say the lesson I've learned uh, about performing in events in Dubai. There's the show I went to and there are not uh, there are not a lot of Nigerians in the club on that day, so I was like, how am I going to perform it here? So I already I already have the fear in my mind. Wow. I sit down and I talk to myself. I was like, ah, Yankee, you are doing this not for you only, yep. for people to listen. Yeah. What message are you passing through for people to listen or to learn from? Yeah. Okay. Then I give myself courage. Uh, I'm starting after the performance from the back of the stage before going to the audience, you yeah. understand me? So when I do that, I, I gain more strength. From and behind. Yes, I gain more strength. And that stage fear was yes. drawn from me. So people really love the performance that they So since then, I learned a lesson of, as an artist, you don't need to be afraid of any audience. Do your things, pass the message, and let people know exactly what you are talking to in your music. Just do good music. Let people know what you are talking about. Okay. So this is what is pushing you. Your passion is what has been pushing you uh, to move forward. So what does music mean to you beyond the pursuance of success, like uh, becoming wealthy, becoming well-known? What other things does music mean to you in, aside just expressing uh, inner feelings and other things? What does it mean yeah, to you? Um, bro. Uh, music really mean a lot to me. You know, when I say a lot, uh, I started doing music when I was young because my, my late grandma was a musician. Okay, so it's an and, uh, Yes. So, right from that childhood, we passed through some stage like that, but um, for that, uh, uh, my late grandma to be a musician, regardless of everything we passed through, we're still happy because Whenever I have some challenges like that, she just started singing and everybody started happy. So by then, I, I discover music has a lot of power. In, in all aspects in this life, you know, even when you are rich, when you are not rich, if you are uh, average, okay, or not okay, you still need music because um, you are in sad mode, you need music. You are in good mode, you need music. Anywhere you are in over, you need music because Music has a lot of a lot of things to do in your life. You understand? Thank me you so much. I really appreciate this. Me personally, yeah. Uh, I use music music as my power. Wow. I'm really glad that you honored my invitation to be on my show, mm. and I uh, hope to see you on the bigger stages in the nearby future. Yeah, uh, 
sooner than I even expect. Your music is amazing. Uh, guys, you can check out his music. You can give a uh, shout out to yourself on all your platforms. You can do that right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I go by the name Omoyanki. And you can check my music, my songs on all platforms. I have a, I drop an EP, which is four track. And recently, I just dropped a, another another street vibe that's a press like. You understand? I have Cinderella, I have a Vampire, I have a Green Lights, and Ojelai. You understand? Ojelai, if I want to watch a lie. Then the press like talks about who, who, give, you, who give you the fake love. Who, who have the fake love? Take your fake love away. You follow me and you cannot press like then. You better on follow me, you understand? So, um, do you have any platform that supports African artists, upcoming artists, where people who come into you, you can go and do their recording, or they can get marketers and promotions? Do you have any platform like that? Or do you hope that that kind of platform can be available so that people can easily have access to shows through the use of those platforms? Is there anything like that? Like, um, we have in Nigeria, we have different um, music producers that can actually help upcoming artists yeah, yeah. to put them in landlines. Yeah. We have African uh, promoters right here in UAE that are helping upcoming artists to get to their. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, promoters in the UAE. Yeah. Though they are not really based in UAE. Okay. Someone like Billy Q okay. is an uh, international promoter. Okay. He's based in UK okay. and he also travels around the world. Okay. And he makes his album. That's what I'm saying that time. Yeah. Whenever he's in Dubai, there's a lot of show for upcoming artists. Okay. And he's going to do that with all his arts. Okay. So we God bless we God, God bless Billy Q okay. Entertainment. And also there is I think there's Dubai Entertainment. Yeah. It's also uh, there uh, is African Music Festival and other Afrofest mm, and other yes, things. Afro Fest, do, there do are these many. things do this platform, do they provide a kind of platform for upcoming artists? Uh, I've not really been in one like that, so okay. uh, but you know, there should be. Yeah, because there are a lot of platforms that uh, I know they have uh, African artists perform. Uh, we have a lot of shows, fashion shows, we have um, uh, food shows, we have road shows, we have different shows. But have you made any approach towards any of these shows so that you can see yourself move to the next level? Uh, if not, uh, I think my best advice for you will be to try to look for platforms that support what you do and uh, fix yourself in there. But sure. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, uh, so, thank you so much. A word of advice for anybody who wants to pick on anything creative and they want to do something in the future that is creative. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people right now, when you say you are a creative artist, people look at you like jobless or you jobless. don't have a yeah, sure, sure. So what's a word of advice for those who are in the creative sector and they want to pick up creativity? And to those our parents that still see creativity as nothing, what's your word of advice? Um, um, firstly, you, you talk about uh, is there any platform or uh, have, we, have I make uh, inquiry of yeah. any ones? Yes, we're trying our best, okay. you understand? Because this is Dubai. Um, you can't just get here once and you know everything. Yeah. So we are digging, we are digging because uh, we, we know we, we have our futures in the front and we're pursuing it. Okay. So we're working on that. Sure. Very soon we'll be appearing on the many shows like that and many events. Right. And um, to those who are out there, I want to be a musician or creative in any aspect, uh, I would say keep trying, don't ever stop. The best loser is to stop trying, so keep trying and give the best. Like I said, very soon you'll be seeing the best of my kid because I will never stop. Thank you so much, you really encourage me, Thank I'm also you, a creator and it's not easy pushing through this that I'm doing, but I know with you guys watching, subscribing and sharing with you listening to his music and also sharing his music thank you so much we do appreciate you and we hope to see you on another edition of experience africans thank you and see you on the next one goodbye